Breaking news! A Saudi club has made a sensational £30 million offer for an Arsenal star. Meanwhile, Micah Richards stated that Raheem Sterling does one thing that Gabriel Martinelli and Leandro Trossard can't replicate. Additionally, a former Premier League referee has given his verdict on the red card received by Arsenal midfielder Declan Rice on Saturday. Stay with me until the end of the video to check out the latest Arsenal news straight from the Emirates Stadium. But before that, if you're as passionate about Arsenal as we are, don't waste any time and subscribe to our channel right now to stay updated on everything happening with the greatest team in the Premier League. And without further ado, let's dive into today's top news. Arsenal might still say goodbye to a key player this summer. Even though the transfer window has shut in England, there are still markets open in other parts of the world. This leaves Mikel Arteta in a tricky spot since he could lose players without being able to bring in any replacements. Right now, there's a chance Arsenal could lose Leandro Trossard, as a club from Saudi Arabia has made an offer for him. Trossard has become a crucial part of the team in North London, recently earning a spot in the starting lineup. In the last match against Brighton, he was chosen over Gabriel Martinelli, marking the first time this season he started ahead of him. According to transfer expert Fabrizio Romano, reporting on X, Al Ittihad have submitted a proposal worth around £30 million for Trossard. Romano also stated, decision up to Arsenal as he's always been an important player for Arteta. This would suggest that the Belgian winger isn't necessarily pushing for a move. However, the money likely on offer from the Saudi Arabian outfit may well tempt him, as would the fact that he would surely be a nailed on starter for Al Ittihad. Trossard, now 29, hasn't always been entirely happy with his situation at the Emirates. He and Arteta have had their disagreements, mainly because Trossard hasn't been getting regular starts for Arsenal. Even though Trossard has consistently delivered impressive numbers when he's on the field, it's been clear that Arteta usually prefers Gabriel Martinelli. Although Trossard is getting more game time now, he might be worried that the recent loan signing of Raheem Sterling from Chelsea could push him down the pecking order again. Sterling was brought in because Arsenal needed more depth in that area, so letting Trossard go would bring back the same issue Sterling was supposed to fix. Plus, with 37 caps for Belgium, Trossard is simply too crucial for Arteta to consider selling him. He's Arsenal's most reliable finisher and has a talent for scoring important goals when it matters most. He's going to be a key player for Arsenal this season and will have a significant role in Arteta's plans. Arsenal should turn down this offer right away and make it clear that Trossard is staying put. Micah Richards says Raheem Sterling does one thing that Gabriel Martinelli and Leandro Trossard can't do. Arsenal wrapped up a last minute deal to bring Raheem Sterling on board right before the transfer window closed. Sterling has arrived at Arsenal on a season long loan from Chelsea after the Blues decided to let him go. Throughout the summer, the Gunners were rumored to be chasing several attacking players, with Mikel Arteta keen to strengthen his options up front. Now Sterling will be battling for playing time on the wings alongside Bukayo Saka Leandro Trossard and Gabriel Martinelli at the Emirates Stadium. Micah Richards believes that Sterling will add something to the Arsenal squad that was missing before. During an episode of the Stick to Football podcast, Richards mentioned, the one thing Sterling has that no one else does is his timing when making runs, which means he'll get more opportunities. He continued, if you compare him to Martinelli, who's an excellent dribbler, and Trossard, who's a great finisher and can turn a game around with his calmness in front of goal, Sterling's ability to time his run sets him apart. But Raheem brings pace and can get in behind defenses, plus his timing is spot on. I think he could be a great addition, as long as he fully commits to Arteta's plans. Sterling, now 29, hasn't been at his peak recently and struggled to consistently impress at Stamford Bridge. However, Arteta is confident he can help Sterling regain his top form. The Spanish coach knows exactly what Sterling, with his 82 England caps, brings to the table. Having worked closely with him at Manchester City, Sterling has even praised Arteta's coaching in the past, so their reunion in North London could be a game changer for both Arsenal and the player. How Sterling's arrival will impact Gabriel Martinelli and Leandro Trossard at Arsenal. The 29-year-old has not always been entirely satisfied with his lot at the Emirates Stadium. Trossard and Arteta have clashed in the past, largely due to the attacker's lack of regular starts for Arsenal. Whilst the former Brighton man's figures, in terms of end product, have always been impressive for the Gunners, Arteta's general preference for Martinelli has been clear. Whilst Trossard is playing regularly now, he may well be concerned that the recent arrival of Raheem Sterling on loan from Chelsea could force him down the pecking order again. However, Sterling 
was needed due to a lack of strength and depth in that part of the pitch. And allowing Trossard to leave would immediately recreate the same problem that bringing in the Chelsea man solved. What's more, the 37 cap Belgium international is simply too important for Arteta to consider letting him go. Trossard is Arsenal's best finisher and has a knack of scoring vital goals in key moments. He will play a lot of football this season and will feature heavily in Arteta's plans. Why Chris Cavanaugh was right to send off Declan Rice in Arsenal vs Brighton Former Premier League referee Dermot Gallagher has now given his verdict on the red card that Arsenal midfielder Declan Rice received on Saturday. Peaking on Sky Sports, Gallagher provided his insight into the incident. He said, They were told at the start of the season, I think the briefing was quite clear, that if you make this action delaying the restart, you run the risk. Two things didn't help him. If you look, he knows what he's doing. And secondly, the touchline, people will say he didn't knock it very far, but he actually knocks it off the field, so you definitely can't restart play. So referee Chris Cavanaugh has got nowhere to go, really. Common sense and refereeing don't actually go hand in hand, do they? Because when a referee uses common sense, I come here on a Monday and say, hang on, we saw that thing given. We got told this, and he hasn't followed it. So the common sense that you're talking about is to avoid the issue and not carry out his duties. The referee has used common sense in my view because the common sense is to apply the law correctly, which he has done. Even though Rice might still feel frustrated, he'll know he can't afford to make a mistake like that again. Arsenal will have to face the upcoming North London Derby against their rivals Tottenham Hotspur without Rice, as he's been handed a one-match suspension following his red card. Adding to the challenge, summer signing Mikel Marino is likely to be out for this game too, after picking up an injury during his first training session with Arsenal, so Arteta will need to come up with a new midfield plan for the big match against Spurs. Why special talent snubbed Arsenal on transfer deadline day for key Mikel Arteta position? Mikel Arteta made significant changes to Arsenal's goalkeeping squad this summer, bringing in David Rea and Tommy Setford. Aaron Ramsdale was sold to Southampton on transfer deadline day in a deal starting at £18 million, potentially rising to £25 million. With a backup keeper needed at the Emirates, Arsenal moved swiftly to secure Neto on a season-long loan from Bournemouth. This move came after missing out on permanent deals for Joan Garcia and Sam Tickle, who were seen as promising young prospects. Sam Tickle snubbed late Arsenal transfer. Arsenal has been scouting for promising young goalkeepers, and Wigan Sam Tickle was one of the players they considered. The 22-year-old has stood out in League One, earning the top spot as Wigan's first choice keeper over the past season. His manager, Sean Maloney, has praised him as a special talent with all the qualities needed to make it at the highest level. So it looks like the Gunners had their sights set on this guy, but their efforts to bring him in on transfer deadline day didn't pan out. The Sun reports that they had their eye on Tickle as a possible third choice option, but he turned down the chance. Apparently, he wasn't keen on moving to a lesser role. This could be a bit of a setback for Arteta, but there's still a chance he might try to persuade Tickle to make the move in the future. Arsenal goalkeeper transfer decision may pay off. Even though Arsenal didn't manage to snag one of the hot young keepers they were eyeing during the transfer window, Edu Gaspar still made some savvy moves. Bringing in Neto on loan from Bournemouth for the season is a smart backup plan. He's got plenty of experience and can step in if needed. Needed. This also buys the team some time to lay the groundwork for finding a long-term solution in goal. It's still up in the air whether they'll go for Tickle, Garcia, or someone else entirely. But one thing's for sure, Arsenal isn't about to rush into decisions or make hasty choices like they might have in the past. Well folks, those were the main news for today. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay updated on everything happening with our beloved team, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel now and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for joining us, and until the next video.